Hey, how's it going everybody? In this quick video I'm going to show you how to set up this Node.js microservices application on your local host. If you're looking for more detailed information or a walkthrough on how everything works, I'm going to put the link to the blog post here in the video description. So this application is composed of three Node Express services. Uh, two of them are the front-end services that users are going to talk to and the third one is a gateway service that's going to talk directly to our MongoDB. The four of them are going to be Docker containers uh, built and launched by a Docker Compose YAML file. So the first thing to do is going to be cloning this GitHub repo. And I'm going to name it MC services. And let's take a look at it with the code editor. So the file structure is very simple. Um, this is the three services and the Docker Compose file and our environment variables. So the two that we're going to need are going to be Spark token and a public endpoint, either ng rock or a public URL. Uh, the reason we need this one is for the Spark services because it's going to need to receive post requests from the Cisco Spark, now called WebExteen API. So in order to get the Spark token, you can go to developer.webex.com, then click here on your profile picture and go to the Teams apps. And here's where you request a new one. Um, for our case, it's going to be a bot application and I'm going to name it MC services, MC services and let's do yellow, create bot and this is going to give us the bot ID, the spark token and some other information but what we need for now is the token so go ahead and put that in there and then the ng rock so uh, because we're going to receive those post requests from the Spark API, we need to take a look at where our Spark service is listening on. So it looks like we're listening on port 3001 for the Spark service. So when we go ahead and set up the ng-rock proxy, we need to make sure that we're forwarding to the internal port 3001. So ng-rock http 3001 and we copy the public URL that's forward to our local host 3001 port. So that's what we need. Put it there, save, and we should be ready to build the images and launch the containers. First thing, let's take a look and make sure that we got Docker Compose installed. There it is. So I'm just gonna say Docker Compose up. Now this may take a longer time uh, the first time you do it because you need to build the images and Docker is going to make sure that you know they get saved on your uh, machine. So it looks like everything came up the way it should. Um, and you can see that the gateway service was using the wait for it shell the script because it was waiting on the Mongo service to be ready to accept connections. And somewhere here we should be able to see Mongoose successfully connecting to the MongoDB. So if we open another terminal here, we should be able to see the containers, if I can spell. Um, and here you see the four containers successfully launched. So now, if you look at the web service and the port that we were exposing. You see that we were exposing port 80 on the local host and port 3002 on the container. So if we go to local host port 80, we should be able to hit the web service. And if we make a request through the Spark service and our bot was named MC service at WebEx or but what I forgot let's take a look. 
Webex that bot, yep. And say something. And here's our bot responding. So now we can say support. And let's try putting in a ticket through this interface. Say yes. Blue. And it looks like I was able to enter a ticket in the database. So if we look at it from the web service and refresh here, there's our ticket. And we should be able to put one from here as well. Say red. Good. And if we make the same request or query from here, we should see the two tickets. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.